what it do, what it do, baby. Sideburn Stacks is officially in the building. So guess what, man? This is one of my favorite topics. What are you wearing to the carne asada? And if you go to a carne asada, everybody knows you're going to have one of these. It might not be this, but it'll be something else. That's what I had in the refrigerator. So we'll pop one of these open first and get it, get it started right. So I got another special guest appearance on my channel today. We're going to allow him to go first and uh, let's see what he would wear to a carne asada. Y'all stay tuned. Hey, how's everybody doing? Again, uh, you're watching uh, Stax Review. I'm your boy, uh, Manya from House of Aroma. So uh, Stax hollered at me, he said, man, let's do a collab video. I said, cool, let's do it. Uh, he told me to choose fragrances that I would wear to a carne asada. This is my second time doing it. The first time I did that, we did it too, too long. And so here we go. The first one, no further ado. Do in particular order. The first one, I'm going by carne asada during the summertime. So. That's when we mostly, I guess, a lot of us get together and do that. The first one is from the house of uh, Davidoff, Cool Water. For Cool Water, the coolest edition. This one, this is a, a nice, cool, cooling effect uh, uh, fragrance to me. Uh, I, I like wearing this one during the summertime when it's nice and hot. And then to me, it gives me that effect of uh, like when, uh, when it's, like if you feel a cool breeze coming and it's hot and you know what I'm talking about? And, and uh, just, it's just that effect that it does that gives me, personally, just a cooling effect, just a nice fresh air hitting me. So very, very nice. It's kind of a sweet, again, has the little bit of the DNA of the uh, Davidoff uh, Cool Water. The next one is one of my favorite ones also. Uh, it's from the House of Beverly Hills 90210. It is Aqua Blue. Very, very nice. Very citrusy, very enjoyable during the summertime. I believe this is a very, very nice fragrance to wear. During the carne asada, you're gonna be out there fresh, clean. Uh, you know, it's gonna be smoky out there, so it gives a little bit of a of a twist in the atmosphere. So again, uh, 90210 from Beverly Hills, 90210, aqua blue. The next one, the next one is a hybrid. Uh, it was hyped up quite a bit back at, uh, when I first started in the fragrance game. It's from the house of Armoff, Armoff Le Parfait. This one, this is, has a combination of uh, Creed, uh, Creed uh, Invent Aventus and uh, Green Irish Tweed. So you still get that pineapple scent of, uh, of the Creed Aventus and also you get some of that, uh, the green notes of uh, uh, Green Irish Tweed. Very, very nice. It's sort of a mix of uh, pineapple with uh, Aspen. Very, very nice and enjoyable fragrance for that summer, for that carne asada. The next one is from the house of Armoff again, El Cielo. <clears throat> this was a sort of like a company it's sort of like a, 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 a I guess a cheaper version of uh, Paco Rabanne Invictus very it's a sweet fragrance nice aquatic clean scent very very enjoyable last and not least from the house of Bulgari Bulgari Aqua Atlantique this is a nice aquatic sweet fragrance uh, these are all of these are very very nice I would go with something fresh clean and blue so again, here's my time. Uh, Stacks, appreciate it again. And uh, I continue watching and for more videos. Y'all stay blessed and y'all keep smelling great. Heck yeah, Manuel, that's a great list you came up with. Man, I appreciate you, Manuel, for uh, supporting me on my channel and actually hopping on this collaboration that I wanted to do. And so let's go over my three fragrances. And if y'all haven't tuned in to Manuel's House of Aromas, do check his channel out. This dude got a massive collection of fragrances. And he does give very good details on what his interpretations of the fragrance, what he gets out of it and what he smells. So uh, let's go over my list. I only picked three because I didn't want to make a, a really super long video. So let's see. And all three of these fragrances remind me of one of my theos, a.k.a. one of my uncles, if y'all are not bilingual. So the first fragrance, we're going to talk about my Uncle David. So my Uncle David's the, the, he's the pit master of the family. He's the one that makes the briskets, pork butts, whatever. Whatever it is, he's the man that's going to do it. So when I was younger, I remember this. I even hit him up earlier. I asked him, I was like, hey, Theo, you used to rock this one fragrance, right? He's like, yeah, I used to wear that. So that's what my scent memory is with this fragrance. So after he's done doing all the barbecue and cutting up the brisket, doing all that stuff, it's shower time. And when I see my Theo going to hop out of the shower, he's going to bust out with one of these right here. Davidoff Cool Water, the OG. This is back in his time. This is his, you know, in his era. 
So yeah, man, this this right here, everybody knows it's not a, a new fragrance to anybody or anything like that. Dab it off cool water. It's good to go. Now, second fragrance. A fragrance I think fits my uncle pretty good. And this is going to be my Uncle Anthony. So Uncle Anthony, this is this for you. And Aunt Debbie, if you need a Christmas idea, this is the one to get him if he doesn't have it. So I say this Versace Eros reminds me of. You can even give him the other one, Thea. There's two of them. There's Versace Eros and Versace Eros Flame. When it's, when it's Mayor Day, this is you right here, Theo. When you're going to be on the firefighter crew, Versace Eros Flame fits you perfect. So I would go with Versace Eros Flame. And just imagine being around the barbecue pit, bullshitting, drink, drinking some, drink, drink some cold beers. Yeah, man. This is it. This is for you, Uncle Anthony. This one right here is the, the one you should be wearing. Now, my next fragrance. I think everybody who's Hispanic has one of these Theos in their family. And this is a big shout out to uh, my Uncle Tony, man. My Uncle Tony's a, hey, my Uncle Tony's clean, y'all. When he pulls up to like a quinceanera or a wedding, I, I think he's a flies dude in there. When he comes in, he's wearing his Stacey Adams and he's wearing these custom Stacey Adams too. They're like uh, just different colors, colors that I ain't never seen. And he got his little fedora hat on with his nice shirt, his old cholo wife beater on the bottom with a nice clean belt and some crease down khakis, man. So when I when I think of my Uncle Tony, this is him right here, man. Clean, fresh scent, Dior Sauvage. And Alice, get him this. If you don't have this, get him this one. This is a big shout out to my Uncle Tony, man. And uh, so yeah, none of these fragrances are new to anybody, but this is what I'm smelling at a at a get together, a carne asada. And I'll just make this a, a open tag, man. If y'all got, you know, any fragrances that you would smell at a barbecue, uh, you know, make a video. You know, let me know or drop it in the comments. You can even type down in the comments what you would think would be suitable for a for a carne asada or a, a barbecue or just a family get family get together, man. Whichever way it goes. But uh, that's it, man. That's my time. I don't want to make the video too long. Thank y'all for stopping by. I did reach 100, so I'm super proud of that. I hit 100 before you know, before the end of the year. So that's, that's great. I've only been doing this for like two and a half, maybe three months. So I'm going to keep trying my best to bring out more content. And, uh, I got something coming in the mail when it gets here, we'll make a video about it and we'll talk about it. And then y'all know what's going to go on from there. So appreciate y'all's time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, stay blessed y'all.